What is up? My name is Steph and welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Mountain High Life. Today, I am here in Rocky Mountain National Park and I'm going to be doing just a longer trail run. I'm going to be running up to one or two alpine lakes. So I'm just going to be taking you guys with me for a little trail run mountain vlog style video. Before we get into today's video, if you are into trail running, ultra marathon training, or mountain vlogs, consider subscribing. That's pretty much what I post here on my channel. I also recently started an Instagram for the channel. So if you feel like checking that out, that would be amazing. I pretty much plan to just use it as a way to stay connected in between my uploads here on YouTube. So that being said, it's about 7 a.m. I just ate a honey stinger waffle. I'm trying to get better about eating before runs, even if it's really early. I am not very good at it. All I have to do is just throw my waters into my running vest and we're ready to get going. So we're gonna we're gonna get on out of here and enjoy a beautiful morning in the mountains. But before we do that, I'm gonna just slide that off. If you haven't seen my most recent video, I'll link it right here. Go check it out. I lost my engagement ring last weekend, so I don't know. Take all my rings off for that matter. Alrighty, let's get out of here. So this is the first time this has happened to me this summer, but there is a massive, dude, massive bull moose. I don't know, a good ways up the trail. Like I, I'm trying to maintain my distance, but he's just following the trail. If you saw my Three Mountain Summit, Chapin Chiquita Ypsilon, it literally looks like the same moose, like same size. And uh, yeah, we're kind of in the rut. Not a great season to be coming up on a bull moose. And um, I'm so happy. I don't know what it was, but something compelled me to just slow down and stop. And when I did that, I looked up so I didn't startle him. I am so afraid of moose. They are one of my favorite animals, but insanely territorial. Like they will charge you. And he is huge and I am but a defenseless human. So I'm just gonna try to take it slow and keep my eye out. We have made it to our destination, Long Lake. After I talked to you guys about the moose, the moose pretty much stayed on trail for three quarters of a mile. I just waited and two gentlemen, we just hiked together until the moose just pulled off trail. He was so big and I, pr I swear that was the same moose I saw two weeks ago. I'm convinced. We'll do a side by side, but this lake is so beautiful. I love this side of the park and I'm thinking I might do a video or like a short reel, whatever you want to call it, on some of my favorite trails and like the best trails to run in Rocky Mountain National Park because this is very runnable, very runnable other than getting stuck behind a moose. But one really cool fact about Lawn Lake is Lawn Lake, in addition to Sand Beach Lake, I think it was Finch Lake and Thunder Lake. I might be getting those last two wrong, but 
point of that is there were four lakes within Rocky Mountain National Park that were dammed up until the late 80s. In 1980, I don't remember the exact year, the dam in Lawn Lake actually broke and it flooded. I've kind of showed some videos or clips of the runoff or that like huge drain that basically it, it it totally changed the like land flooded all the way down to Elkhorn Avenue in the middle of Estes Park which is like Main Street knowing some of the history behind behind this this cool little lake but it's huge but it's beautiful and behind me there's actually a trail you can go up and summit Crystal Lake which that was my plan and lately lately I've just been bailing out of like the option you know what I mean oh I can go do a second summit oh I can do a second lake and I'm just kind of like I'm kind of happy here <laughs> But you can actually link this all. I, I believe you can link this up to Hague's Peak and then connect to Ypsilin, Chiquita, Chapin. I think. I could be totally wrong. So it's about 10 o'clock. I've sat here for like an hour and um, I'm pretty tired. So I'm just going to run down. We've got about six and a half miles back to the car. So six and a half miles. Dang it. I did get pun sap on me. <laughs> So we have about six and a half miles back to the car. Hopefully no funny business, no animals. That's pretty much my biggest concern, but I guess we'll see. But we're going to make it back. And I do have a burrito at the car that's just calling my name right now. So let's make it back and get on with the day. <laughs> In case you were wondering what these incredible looking shorts were that I was wearing, they are the Jonji Half Tight and I am genuinely in love with them. And I know it sounds crazy. I know every time I talk about Jonji shorts, I'm just raving about how much I love them. But I swear, every time I try a new pair of shorts from Jonji, I just love them even more. I love these so much. Once they're on, they don't move because they do have like grip at the bottom of the shorts. They have very packable pockets, as well as the classic John G locking carabiner that I love so much. They're comfortable, they're breathable, they're flattering, and just about at every race I've been in, in 2024, all the cool people were wearing them. So if you want to be cool, <laughs> click the link in my description and you can use my code Mountain High Life to get 10% off your order with John G. Thank you so much to John G for partnering with me, believing in the channel and making incredible running apparel. <laughs> I have made it back to the car 13 miles later and I want to say it was probably like closer to 13 and a half miles but I forgot to start my watch at the beginning of the run so but yeah that ended up being three hours seven minutes of run time which was pretty much what I was expecting good and good and casual pace you know I think I could have gone faster had I not literally run into that moose and had to walk behind it for a good bit but total elevation was 2454 feet so solid very solid actually you know what I take that back because the descent on this says 2568 so I bet you that's probably closer to what it was. It is 11.38. I got my burrito right here. It's the chicken sausage, egg, and che egg, cheese, and potato burrito from Trader Joe's. It is oh, it's so good. It's one of my favorites. I crisped it up in the pan this morning, and then I'm going to eat it with a little ketchup. This is not your average ketchup, though. I'm not weird. I'm not, I'm not one of those people that's like, ooh, let me put ketchup on everything. Not that there's anything wrong with those people, but like, this is 
next level ketchup sir kensington's classic ketchup it like tastes it's got such a good flavor i don't know it's perfection with the breakfast burrito top tier so i'm gonna eat this and then it's time to get home i need a nap i need a shower i need water i need to take it easy you know so so it is now monday afternoon and that is pretty much it i know that was kind of a short little trail running mountain video but i just wanted to take you guys along for a little trail run up in rocky mountain national park with me so if you made it to this point in the video thank you so much for watching as per usual consider subscribing i do have a big adventure planned for this upcoming weekend that i am very excited about so if you don't want to miss that again subscribe so that way you don't miss out if you like the video consider giving it a like leave me a comment down below thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day and i will see you guys in my next adventure bye <laughs>